Gloria. I'm Gloria, and today I want to share with you a very delicious dish. It's chicken breast stuffed with veggies that I know that you guys are going to love. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. <laughs> mozzarella cheese, cream cheese, Philadelphia, three garlic cloves, salt, parsley, black pepper, paprika, garlic salt, and here I have a zucchini, white onion, bell pepper, red and green, and of course our chicken breast. So let's get started. Let's prepare these chicken breasts stuffed with all delicious flavors. I have my chicken breasts here. I want to start with the chicken first. We want to marinate them and get them ready so that they could marinate at least for half an hour before we cook them. Right here I have my chicken breast. I'm going to slice right in the center, but make sure that you don't go all the way back. We're just going to butterfly them so that we could put all the delicious veggies inside. And then we are going to start smashing them to get the chicken breast nice and thin of course from both sides okay we want to make sure that the chicken breast is nice and thin so it could cook completely through when it has everything inside just like this look i know it takes time but one by one and they come out so delicious and so tender I'm adding just a little bit of vegetable oil so that when I add my seasoning, they will stick and they will marinate the chicken breast. I want to show you this step, the way I do it here at home. I have all my spices here. I'm going to add them to a plate, making sure that we add all the spices here except the salt. And then I'm just going to mix it in and go ahead and spread it all around on top of the chicken breast just like this look at this i'm going to do both sides make sure that you do both sides so both sides get the delicious flavors of all the seasoning this one is done i am going to continue i'm going to put it here in a little pan and i'm going to continue here i'm done with all my chicken breast and i am ready to continue with the next step what I like to do is just cover them with saran plate paper and then just leave it like that, put it in the refrigerator so when I'm ready for them. I have my veggies here. I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning them one by one, making sure that I rinse them very good so I could start cutting them in very small little pieces. I'm going to start with my onion. The onion I'm gonna slice and then cut in little squares. And you wanna make sure that all your veggies are almost the same size so that they all incorporate completely. Even the zucchini. We wanna make sure that all the veggies are sliced and then cut in little squares. And the zucchini, we're gonna do the same thing. I like to take the little edges off and then I'm just gonna cut it in the half and then in little squares. Make sure that they're almost the same size of the rest of the veggies. And when this is completely done, just like this, I'm gonna go ahead and put them aside and I am going to continue with my garlic cloves. I have three garlic cloves, which I'm gonna dice very small little pieces so that they release all the delicious flavor here i have a plate i'm going to add my mozzarella cheese and my philadelphia cheese and i'm only using half of the philadelphia um cheese 
so that they get really nice and creamy and all the flavors you know are inside the chicken breast okay i'm gonna go ahead and mix it very well and to this i am going to add one tablespoon of parsley right on the top and making sure that i mix it completely we want this to be completely mixed that the parsley is all over the the cheeses my pan is nice and hot and i'm adding only three tablespoons of vegetable oil i'm adding my onion just for a minute or two and then i'm adding my garlic cloves that are very diced as soon as they start releasing the um order of the garlic then that's when we're gonna add the bell peppers and we're gonna go ahead incorporate it completely and we're going to add our zucchini at the end because we want the zucchini to still be kind of crisp when we add it to our breast here i am going to just mix it around add my salt remember the salt is to taste and i'm just going to cook it for about three minutes no more than that okay the reason that i just cook it for three minutes is so that they all incorporate and release all the delicious flavor if they've been cooking for three minutes and this is done completely done i wanted to show you from close-up that this is already done it's getting nice and a little bit charred from the edges the veggies and this is exactly how we want them okay the oil the pan doesn't have no oil at all so just make sure that you cook with just a little bit of oil okay i'm ready i'm gonna let it rest for just a little bit before i add it to my cheese now i am ready to add all the veggies to the cheese and cream cheese we're gonna go ahead and mix it completely when everything is nice and incorporated now i am ready to get my chicken out of the refrigerator and start adding the filling remember just add one tablespoon of filling you don't want to add too much or else when it's cooking everything is going to come out of the chicken breast i want to show you this step when everything is in here just press it just a little bit not too much and i'm doing a second one so you could see it just one tablespoon is enough of the mixture and then close it up and look how beautiful this looks i'm going to continue doing the rest and i'll see you in a little bit look at this my my um, pan is nice and hot i'm adding about two to three tablespoons of vegetable oil and now i am ready to start adding the chicken breast i'm adding i'm going to add three at a time and of course i'm going to cover them we don't want to be flipping them too much we only flip them once so they're going to be here for about three to four minutes They've been cooking for three, four minutes. Now is the time to flip them over and then cover them one more time for another five minutes. They are looking so beautiful. Let's cover them. They've been cooking now a total of 10 minutes. My friends, I want to show you from close up how my chicken breast look. They are ready to be removed from the pan. Look at this. I am going to take them off the pan and let them rest and I'm gonna continue with the rest. But I wanted to show you this step. Look how beautiful all this stuffing looks. Nice and crispy on the outside. Okay, I'll see you in a bit.
of breast. I cut a little piece because this is the part I love, I enjoy, and I really look forward tasting my recipe. My home smells delicious. Let's see how this came out. I combined my stuffed breast with a garden salad and, of course, some tomatoes. Let's see how this came out because I want to get a little bit of everything, okay? A little bit of everything. Oh my gosh. Oops, excuse me. Mmm. Mmm. The chicken is so soft, so tender, and with all that filling of the cheese, oh my God, this is just amazing. Excuse me. Mmm. This is just perfect. Such a delicious and healthy dish. And of course, with the grapefruit, Agua Fresca, even perfection. If you liked and loved my recipe, please don't forget to subscribe, give me thumbs up, share my video on social media, why not? Share my video on social media so more people get to know Cooking with Gloria. Don't forget to push the notification bell so every time I make a new recipe, yes, my friends, you are notified. Before I say, I see you soon. I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. And of course, I will stay enjoying this stuffed breast. Bye-bye.